Welcome back to Three Commas Academy. In this portion of the course, we're gonna be talking specifically about grid bots. Grid bots were designed to take advantage of sideways price action in consolidating periods. So usually a lot of these terms kind of get mixed and mashed together, but they all do mean the same thing. Sideways markets, accumulation periods, consolidation periods. It all just means the price is going sideways and it's in a boxed range for any amount of time. When you're running a DCA bot, remember that those thrive on trending markets, whether the market's trending up or down. Vice versa, when there are periods of low volatility, that means that that is the perfect time to run a grid bot. Take this chart for Bitcoin, for example. Ever since about June 13th, when Bitcoin bottomed to 17,600-ish, up until about, well, we'll just say here at the timing of this video, Bitcoin has been in a really tight range, moving sideways, doing a whole lot of nothing. This is not a good trend. There is literally zero trend. This is what I mean by sideways market movement, consolidation or accumulation. It's not just when Bitcoin is going sideways that makes it a great time to run a grid bot. The best time to run a grid bot really goes chart by chart. Some charts will always be great for a grid bot because they're in this fixed sideways range. Some charts will never be good for grid bots because they continually go up and down and the ranges of these trends are so great that it makes it difficult to time your grid bot to start at the right place. So understand that while DCA bots are very clearly focused on bullish and bearish market conditions, Grid bots can work either at the top or the bottom of the markets. It's just as long as you have a chart that's moving sideways. In order for grid bots to run, they have to have the base token. I'm gonna to be talking about this later, but you did learn in the previous section on DCA bots about base and quote currencies. So grid bots need both the base and the quote currency. So if you're buying the base currency as the price falls and it breaks below that grid range, you're just bag holding now. Now the value of the tokens is just falling further and further and further, making your account droop, but you can implement a stop loss so that if the grid is broken to the downside, then you get stopped out, the bot stops, you sell those tokens, and you don't have any of these big heavy red bags to worry about. So in this section, I'm gonna be talking about how grid bots work, how to take advantage of them, and then finally at the end, how to set up a grid bot based on a couple of ideas and a couple of scenarios that I like for when setting up a grid bot. <laughs>